Hi, this is Dave with DRH Acrylic Creations. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for being here. Today we're going to be continuing our exploration of faux pillows and creating depth and flow. So but today we're going to expand that just a little bit. We're going to try a double faux pillow. So I'll lay down a first faux pillow, color layer, and then a second faux pillow on top of that. And we'll see how much depth we can get and try to minimize uh, the amount of white that we pull up. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to give you the, the list of the chapters. Uh, you can find them down in the description along with along the bottom of the video. You'll see it'll segment out for the time frame. So I'm going to run through these real quick for you. First is the, the, going to be the color selection for today and then the uh, cell activators. And in that, after the cell activators, there'll be a brief description of what my two uh, recipes are for both my pouring in medium and my cell activator. Followed by the base coat, which is my PPG Multi Pro, which is the white, then my first faux pill, the lane of each one of the colors, and then the second faux pill on top. The first faux pill and the, and the second faux pill are not the same colors. They are variations of blue, but I wanted to see if I could get a little bit of a play there, interplay between the two of them. Next, you'll see the the swipe, and uh, from the swipe, we'll do the, the scoop and drag. I'll stretch it out, get some coverage, and start to, to play with what, what's going on with the composition. Once I'm pretty comfortable with the composition, then I'll spin it out, and uh, it'll happen fairly quickly. I did a lot of cutting through there, so I've tried to limit the length of this video by doing that. Last, we'll do a flyover, talk about the final results and my observations were of them. And last uh, will be the, the conclusion. So I hope you find today's video useful and stick around to the end. I appreciate if you haven't already done so, take a minute to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications, but let's get right down to it. Okay, our color layers for today uh, is Southern Ocean Blue, Cobalt tur Turquoise, La Lakeside, and Teal, Payas Gray, Interference Blue, and finally Blue Black. Cell activators are Titanium White and Lamp Black. The recipes I have right there will show you how to mix them. I do have a video that covers uh, all of that, and that is the uh, my 101 series of how-to videos. The pillow paint has gone down. First color that's going down is going to be the Payne's Gray. This is a color art uh, uh, ele uh, primary elements paint. And uh, it's, it's, this is more blue than anything else I've ever used for Payne's Gray. But it's a beautiful color. Lots of shine and shimmer with it. What I'm doing here is I'm just putting down a swath, a nice even coat down at the bottom, trying to get as much coverage, coverage as I can. And the reason why we want to do that is this is what's going to be seen as the pillow, as the, the color of pillow. The initial reason for having a faux pillow was to save on having to have tinted paints around. But uh, as a byproduct, we've discovered that in, when you pull it up, you actually get a back shine or a backlit that helps with the depth. This is Interference Blue. It's by Golden. And an interference color looks best on top of a darker color. Uh, interference is, that's not white, although it looks like it. This is Southern Ocean Blue by Matisse. Southern Ocean Blue, that you can't really see there. It's a more of a blue-green with a green side mostly. This is uh, Cobalt Turquoise by Golden. This is Lakeside by This Little Picky. All of these are in the blue-green uh, side of things. I'm going for kind of an ocean feel to this. This is Teal by Golden. And you can see I'm just putting down a swath. I'm trying not to put too much paint down. 
because what goes down has got to be uh, it's got to be spun off afterwards. Okay, blue black is going down now. This is our second faux pillow. Now the blue black is by uh, Artillier uh, Interactive, and I. Uh, I added just a tad bit of, of lamp black to it to darken up just a little bit. That's going to go even coat. Nice uh, even coat across the top. I'm trying not to put too much paint on this. So too much paint on top of this. I want it to be there, but I also want to be able to uh, not have to dig so much to get the bottom layers up. I have had the question before, why put the faux pillows down at all? Why not just, you know, use the, the color pillow you want from the beginning? It's, it's a matter of cost saving. I really am looking for that, that uh, depth that you get with the, the white down at the bottom that pulls up and the different color blues that come up. I want to control where my colors show up. Some would say that makes me a control freak. If so, so be it. This is Lamp Black. It's my first cell activator. It's by Amsterdam. Again, like I said earlier, this is mixed with three parts Australian Floetrol. Now, I know people who have used the American Floetrol, and in Europe they use a different Floetrol altogether. Um, there are, it will work. I just find the, that the Australian Floetrol works without fail every time. I don't have to play with it. Okay, next thing's going down is titanium white. This is my second cell activator. On top of that, I just want a little bit more of the interference blue, so I put that on the bottom of this. Which, when we flip this over, that order will reverse. So it'll be the black, then the white, then the uh, interference blue. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick swipe here. Just looking for, uh, just looking for nice uh, cells to develop. I would have been happier with this had they, I've got I've seen a little bit more of the cells, but uh, the final product isn't horrible. So this is the scoop and drag. Now, if you're not familiar with the scoop and drag, you're you're scooping under the color uh, the color layer and pulling it out. If you've got cells there, you're pulling the cells out. In this technique, you're pulling the colors out from the bottom, and you're choosing where those colors are. You're also choosing to mix the colors because when you're when you're you know grabbing color from below, you're going to grab what you have, and um, so you're going to have mixing of color mixing of colors there. Once I'm fairly happy with that, I'll start to stretch. So I'm going to I'm tilting it off. I'm trying to get the paint basically where I want it before I let it flow off the edge of the canvas. Just move it around, see what looks best. Once I start seeing what I'm looking for, I'll let it go over the side. And once it goes over the side, at that point, it's going to start to stretch out, and you're going to see your you're going to see your color layers on the bottom come forward more. So you can see here, I am I am definitely letting it go over the edge. And more than enough paint on this. Spinning time. And I get much of my paint moving off the side and to get out of the way because it's uh, once it starts flowing, it has a tendency to go everywhere. One more spin, get the, the bulk of it off, and I think we're ready for the flyover. You're going to see that I really did manage to get some very nice depth. The black cells work beautifully with this, this color's palette. And you can see the on top there, that's the, the white cell of ac activator and the interference blue. And I don't think I could be much happier than the flow and the composition with this piece. Thank you for being here today. If you'd like to help, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It's absolutely free, and it really does help. I really hope you found today's video useful. If so, if you could leave a message down in the comments, I'd appreciate it. Bye now.